It's Friday, October 22nd. I'm Cristina Marujos, and you're watching the Daily Market Comment at XM.com by Raf Boyajian. Embattled property giant Evergrande has reportedly paid its overdue interest on dollar-denominated bonds, taking the markets by surprise as only a day ago it looked like the company was going to miss its coupon payment after the sale of some of its assets fell through. However, investors remain worried about the company's future prospects, while a number of other Chinese real estate developers have already defaulted on some of their bond payments, hence the subdued reaction in markets today. Chinese indices were mixed, and there were no fireworks in Hong Kong, as the Hang Seng Index was last trading 0.3% higher. While the focus in Asia remains on Evergrande, the quarter three earnings season is keeping investors preoccupied on Wall Street. The S&P 500 closed at a new all-time high on Thursday, boosted by more upbeat earnings. However, futures were struggling on Friday after Snapchat owner Snap Incorporated missed its revenue estimates, blaming Apple's recent privacy policy changes for the hit to its digital advertising business. Shares in Snap and other tech firms that rely on digital ads plunged in after-hours trading yesterday, and the Nasdaq Composite was last indicated to open 0.4% lower today. However, Dow Jones futures fared slightly better, likely being buoyed by reports that the Democrats are inching closer to reaching a compromise on the size and scope of President Biden's ambitious spending agenda. Hopes are high that both the hard and human infrastructure bills will be passed by Congress by the self-imposed deadline of October 31st. In the FX sphere, safe haven currencies were slightly under pressure from the improved risk tone, though the U.S. dollar was able to draw support from firm Treasury yields. Ten-year Treasury yields briefly topped 1.70 percent on Thursday after U.S. weekly jobless claims fell to a new post-pandemic low. Fed Chair Jerome Powell is due to participate in a panel discussion later today, and yields could climb to fresh highs if he strikes a hawkish tone. Expectations that surging inflation will compel central banks to tighten policy more aggressively than what has been messaged by policymakers has spurred the Aussie, Kiwi and Looney to multi-month highs versus the greenback. Meanwhile, some encouraging flash PMI numbers out of the United Kingdom and Eurozone are propping up the pound and euro. This was the Daily Market Comment here at XM.com. Have a great weekend.